All right, guys, welcome back. So, Dream Stands. They don't need much introduction of just how toxic they are on Twitter. Now, the, the only thing worse than Dream Stands on Twitter is, well, politics. Well, specifically, American politics. I mean, just, just look it up on Twitter and... Eh, actually, never mind. But if you, knew, if you do know something about politics on Twitter, then you probably know about Ted Cruz. You know, a U.S. Senator from Texas, a Trump supporter, pretty, pretty controversial. But what you don't expect is to have the word dream, as well as Ted Cruz, in the same sentence. So August 12th, it was Dream's birthday. You know, his fans and associates, they, they all greeted him. But do you know who else greeted him? That's right, Ted Cruz himself. He said on Twitter, Happy birthday, Dream. My daughter has asked me to say that. And the reactions to those tweets were, well... What's, what's Ted Cruz? No! Oh my! No! Oh! What the f***, dude? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> pretty, pretty bad. Like, plenty of people condemned that tweet, like from other content creators as well as individual fans. Like, it was something that was not expected at all from any politician. Now, it seems odd why someone like Ted Cruz would want to interact with Dream Stands. Like, Ted Cruz, he's, he's a Republican, and the ideals of the Republican Party are almost polar opposites to that of the ideals of Dream Stands. Like, I, I don't want to get too political, but it seems odd why Ted Cruz would want to get involved with a fandom that does not agree with his views. Now, Ted Cruz, he said that his daughters were the ones who asked him to, to greet Dream publicly on Twitter. However, he has used his daughters before as an excuse, uh, during his controversial trip to Cancun during the Texas snowstorm. Like, uh, again, I don't want to get too um, political, but it seems odd that he'll use his daughters as an excuse again when interacting with the Dream fandom. So the whole situation, it brought the time when it was alleged that Dream was a Republican and a Trump supporter. He clarified that, well, he wasn't, and that he didn't agree with his views. He also further explained how he grew up in a conservative area, and how he held those views until he was exposed to people outside of his friend groups. He also explained in a paste bin, that in an old Reddit account he shared with his friend, he expressed uh, pretty pretty conservative views. He basically said, The only comment that I've seen circulating that could have actually been me was a post regarding football players kneeling. It was not about Colin Kaepernick because it was a lot later. The comment was from over three years ago, and if it was me, it was just me being a privilege because I wanted to watch football without worrying about actual things that mattered. I don't agree with that stance at all, and on top of that, I don't agree with almost anything I believed back in 2018 or earlier. I, like I said in my tweet, I had a lot of sheltered opinions when I was underage that very quickly went away as I actually experienced life. So he was basically explaining how he expressed views regarding athletes kneeling that were pretty conservative and that many in his fandom would not agree with at all. Now the whole drama with Dream and his alleged political views, well, it's quite, it's quite ridiculous as one, he is entitled to his own views. And second, people's views change over time as they are exposed to different people. However, it really isn't that surprising that this discussion resurfaced, given that Ted Cruz, he's, he's a pretty polarizing figure on Twitter politics. I think many people can agree that politics should probably stay out of the whole Minecraft fandom. Most people who watch Dream and all the other Minecraft YouTubers probably don't want to have politics get shoved in their faces. Like, Twitter politics, it, it, it's messy. And given how infamous Dream stands are on Twitter, it just doesn't go well with those two groups converging. Like, it's still odd why Ted Cruz would want to interact with Dream stands. Like, he's either ignorant of the fact that Dream stands would almost universally disagree his beliefs and views, or that he's just trying to appeal to the younger generation in a pretty, uh, pretty misguided way. Either way. I think most people can agree that Ted Cruz should probably stay out of Minecraft Twitter. Now, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.